Today I'm going to show you how to add your terms and conditions, also known as your terms of service, page to your website. If you don't have a terms and conditions page yet, or if you wrote it yourself and you're worried you might have missed something, look in the description for a link to my friend Tabitha's video where she shows you what needs to be on your terms and conditions. She's a business attorney so she can help you out with that part. If that's already done, now we have to take that document and get it on your website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a page for it and then we're gonna link to that page in the footer. I'm gonna show you three different ways to edit your footer so it should work with any theme you're using. All right, you most likely have your terms and conditions written out now as a Word document or a Google Doc. Um, either you wrote it out or your attorney wrote it out, uh, but this is probably the format you have it in. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get this on a web page. First thing you need to do, of course, is to sign into your WordPress dashboard, which will look something like this, and then mouse over pages on the left-hand side and go to add new. And now here, uh, call this, you know, your terms and conditions um, or terms of service or terms of use. They all mean the same thing. Uh, and after you do that, head back over to your doc here and select everything and then you're gonna copy it. And then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna paste it right here. Now, for this page, I'm not using a page builder. I'm using the regular standard WordPress editor, which is called Gutenberg. And I'm doing that because this is a legal document. It doesn't need to be styled. And if you just copy it from your Word doc into this page, into the regular WordPress editor, it's just gonna happen really easy for you. It's the easiest way to do it. And it's gonna usually keep most of the formatting. Now we don't need this title, Terms and Conditions, uh, because we already have that as the main title of the page. So we're gonna click in there, and then this menu will pop up. And you click these three dots for more options, and go to Remove Block. And you could look through this and make sure everything looks okay. But like I said, the Gutenberg editor usually takes the formatting from a Word doc or a Google doc real well. So you probably don't have to change much. When you're happy with this, click the publish button on the top right corner. And then you have to click it again. And then this box pops up confirming that the page is now live and you can click this button here, view page, to view the page. So we've got the first part of our project done now. We have the terms and conditions page made, but now we have to link it to your site. And we are going to link it in the footer section, which is the bottom part of your website. So let's head back to the dashboard. Go ahead and hover over your site name on the top left in the black admin bar and go down to dashboard. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to make a menu. So go to Appearance, Menus. And we're gonna name this menu Footer Links. And we're gonna click Create Menu, this blue button on the bottom right. And after we do that, we're going to check this check mark next to Terms and Conditions. If you don't see it here under Most Recent, it'll be under View All. Check that and then click Add to Menu and then hit save. Now we're going to place this menu on your footer. How to edit your footer depends on which theme you're using. The theme we're using for this site right now is the basic WordPress theme and to edit it, you go to appearance and you go to widgets. And you can see the footer section right here and we have a bunch of gray boxes in there. Search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, meta. These are the different things that are in the footer. So we are going to add that menu we created as a new thing in the footer. So over here under available widgets, you'll see another gray box and it says navigation menu. Just take that and drag that into the footer. And for select menu, go ahead and select the footer links that we just made and then hit save. 
Now, if you view your website by mousing over your site name on the top left and clicking View Site, and you scroll down to the footer, you'll see that the first thing in the footer is the link to the Terms and Conditions page. And you click that, and you go to your page. And that's going to be on every page of your website. But maybe you don't want it to be the first thing, which is fine. So to do that, mouse over your site name on the top left again, and then go to Widgets. And you can move the navigation menu anywhere you want in the order of the other things, the other widgets. That's what these things are called. We'll put it at the end. And then if you go back to view your site again, you'll see that now the link is the last thing in the footer. So that's one way to edit the footer. But like I said, some themes don't have it set that way. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the Astra theme just to give you an example of a theme that does it a different way. So for some themes, you have to go to Appearance, Customize. And then in this section, you'll see something that says Footer. For this specific theme, it says Footer Builder. So you can go ahead and click that. Now every theme is a little different about what's in this part. So if you get confused and it's not super intuitive, make sure you check with the docs that come with your theme to see specifically how to edit their footer. But a lot of times it's really easy to figure it out. For this one, we can just hover over this section here, click the plus sign, and then we can choose footer menu. Now to make sure it's choosing the right menu, click footer menu over here, then click the link that says configure menu from here. And where it says footer menu, make sure you select footer links. Then hit publish. After that, you can, well, you can see a preview right here, but to see it on the live site, you can hit the X on the top left to close out of customizer and then mouse over your name again on the top left in the black bar, go to visit site, scroll down, and there you go, your terms and conditions in the footer again. And since we used the Gutenberg editor, even when we switch themes, it takes over the theme styles very easily and it looks like it matches with everything very well. Now, the final way that I'm going to show you to edit your footer links is gonna be if you're using a page builder. Now, I'm specifically gonna do this using Elementor Pro, but this is gonna be similar to the uh, premium versions of a lot of the popular page builders. So go to templates under Elementor on the left hand side and then go to theme builder. Here you should see a footer. If your site was made with Elementor Pro, something here will say footer under type. Um, if you don't see it here, you can click the footer tab just to be sure. But if you have a footer to edit, it will be there and then mouse over the name and click Edit with Elementor. And Elementor is really very easy. It's all drag and drop, and it has widgets over here for everything you need. Now this is gonna be a menu, so you can click up here and search for Menu. We're just gonna use the basic WordPress navigation menu this time. So take this, click it, and literally drag it anywhere you want to put it in your footer. I feel like the most logical place to put it is right down here under the copyright. And then you just select which menu you want over here on the left under content. We're going to choose footer links. And then hit this apply button, this blue apply button right here. And there you go, it's on the site. Now, since we're using this page builder, you can also, like as always with Elementor, you can click this little pencil on the block and then come here and there it is, it's on the site. The easiest way to get your link up using a page builder. If you wanna be a little more fancy, you can use the Elementor nav menu widget instead. And then when you choose the footer links menu, up here in the content area, you'll also have options to change the uh, style of it, the text, the colors, all of that, just like you change any other Elementor widget. But we're gonna go ahead and delete this second one and then hit update. 
And then you're going to want to hit the three lines on the top left and go to exit to dashboard and then hover over your site name on the top left and view your website and scroll down and there you go. There's the link right there on your footer and if you click it, you go to the terms and conditions page. Now the fun thing about doing this as a menu too is if you want to eventually add on a privacy policy or any other legal documentation you need, maybe a disclaimer, you can add it all to that same menu and it'll all be in the same area. So that's it. The terms and conditions are now on your website. You're more protected than you were before. Your users will know what to expect from you and you look like a more legitimate business. If this was helpful for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a new website checklist, you can click in the description and you can download that for free. And that could help you um, as you're building your website and your business. Thank you so much for watching.